Hey YouTubers, it's Tony with Mayberry Mini Truck. Today is Saturday, February 3rd, 2024. And today we're doing a video for Keith in Virginia. Keith is a long distance customer and he's interested in a very special truck. It's a Subaru Sambar van with lots of very nice accoutrements. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and video this for Keith. Uh, and since he's a long distance customer, we're gonna go over it and show all the little imperfections and the nice things like the crystal roof and, um, and uh, then take it for a test drive. So this is a 1996 Subaru Sambar supercharged van. It's four wheel drive and is automatic and it has 25,504 miles. So this thing is beautiful and uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and get, get right to it here. Probably, this, this is probably the nicest van I've ever had. I mean, I, I, I'm sure about that. Um, there's the perimeter, or here is the perimeter of the windshield. It's in very good condition, no rust. That's what we want to, you know, see. Now, this vehicle does have some pebble pecks, like where a, a, a pebble on the highway may have popped up and nicked. Um, there is a slight impression on the front right there, small. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to come down the door pillar and we have a very small ding right there and a scratch right there. <clears throat> Interesting sticker. Uh, Subaru aluminum wheels, which is pretty unusual. Nice tires. Here is a view of the inside of the inner fender. Now, I want to uh, show you this door. We're gonna come down. And basically, there are no dings on this door. It might not hurt to wax this, um, you know, with a buffer. It'll really turn out very nicely. Another beautiful panel here. Lots of glass on the Subaru van. That's one thing I really like about the Subaru van is it has a lot of glass. So, you know, you're not gonna say this thing doesn't have good visibility or good, uh, it doesn't have blind spots, uh, which is very nice. The rear of this vehicle looks very, very nice. Now we're gonna open the door and notice the shocks open the rear hatch. Now I did help it at the very last, maybe five inches there, but uh, it does in in the winter time open it. And in the winter time is the hardest time of year on these shocks because um, the cold makes them less powerful. So if it opens it in the winter time, that's a good thing. So here is underneath the mat and then another mat. It's a Subaru Sambar van mat. So they sprung and went for the extra uh, mad, uh, this is pretty cool. All right, I really do like this. See there? That's pretty nice. Very nice. The ceiling is immaculate. So, it even has the camera. They had a camera and they took it out, but, um, we got a few remnants, like, you know, you see a plug to the old camera and stuff. Very, very nice corner. Very, very nice door on the side here. No dings, no dents. And a beautiful, beautiful door. No dings, no dents. Okay, now I'm going to open this door and show you the inside. It's just incredible absolutely unbelievable 
I like putting these down. I mean, it's just remarkable, guys. It is absolutely incredible. Another sandbar mat on top of the carpeting. And there's your Subaru sandbar toolkit. Here is inside the passenger door looking beautiful. And uh, this is the power plug to their camera. And here's the wiring from the camera. You know, they took it out before they um, export or sold it. This is your rear heater. And the vents for that rear heater are right there. Okay, now, I mean, so this is absolutely beautiful. It does have electric windows, which is uh, unusual for the front, and then manual windows for the rear. I don't know if you can see the hand crank there, but it does have manual windows for the rear, but electric windows for the front. All right, now I'm gonna look at the driver's side. I mean, that gold patina right there, to me, means a lot because it means that it did not get oxidized. Beautiful. Uh, the seat does have a very small, little, what I call a side split right there, but the up actual upholstered part is beautiful. Now, I'm going to show you something else. Okay. So you can pop this up like that. And now we're going to open this. Check that out. Is that not unbelievable? Look at that, guys. Look at that. Unbelievable. That is got to be one of the coolest things on the face of the earth. I mean, who has a van with a glass roof? That is so nice. All right, so now I'm going to shut this. And now I'm going to shut this. Now it's a two-step closing. It stops if there's a child there. So you have to let go of the button and then push the button again. Which I think is a great idea. All right. So now let's go ahead and let's take this for a drive. With an automatic, there's not a whole lot going on. You just put it in drive. All right, here we go. Now this is a supercharged Subaru sandbar. Now I'm not gonna get on it going down this hill because there's no point. But coming back up the hill, we'll get to see the power, which is pretty cool. Okay, so Mayberry Mini Trucks has serviced this vehicle. We used full synthetic 5W30 engine oil and we changed the air filter and the oil filter, checked all the fluids, and test drove it to make sure that everything's operational. We actually um, got the law passed. I know I say this a lot, but hey, you know, it is absolutely true and, and so, so important that we got the law passed making mini trucks street legal in North Carolina. Governor Cooper signed the bill into law and you will get a title. There's no extra charge for any of that. So that is 60 miles per hour and it feels great just buzzing along. That to me is the maximum effective speed for this van. Um, I was saying that we got the law passed and you'll get a clear title. Now that title, there's no extra charge. Now, obviously, this van just arrived. The super nice stuff always sells fast, well before the title gets here. So um, when 
the uh, title is made, uh, we will contact you and say, hey, your title is here. Um, and then uh, we'll send it to you registered mail. Oh, glory. Okay, yeah, they didn't see me. All right, so now, yeah, that would be bad. That would be a bad video. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going up this hill now. And, you know, obviously it has better horsepower being supercharged. And you can tell. It's just there is more power there which is the whole point. Now I'm going to give it some gas going up this hill. And I mean, I'm not even flooring it guys. I'm just giving it some extra gas and it, it's no problem at all. The supercharged van here uh, does not have a horsepower concern. It definitely is bounding up the hill very handily and I think this is the only mini truck that I've not floored it because it's just not necessary I just gave it about half of the gas pedal so there's another first um, so Keith if you like this vehicle and you'd like to get it let us know um, we um, we can be reached at 336-777 9957. Our email address is sales at mayberryminitrucks.com. And our website, for those of you who'd like to check out our website, is mayberryminitrucks.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the notification button, and if you would, please give us a thumbs up. And uh, we do appreciate you watching our video.